sprout. <laughs> okay, don't judge the picture because this is literally what I ordered, okay? I could not find this exact image on Vera Shop for whatever reason. It said like photo coming soon or something. I don't know. Maybe my website was glitching, but this is what I got. So it is a water spray for your plants. So for your, instead of like, you know, some people who water their plants, you can also spray the leaves. And these are pruning shears. Perfect. Perfect for the basil. So what you would typically do for the plants around your house. Um, I already put some water in here. Um, I can add some little bit more. But first of all, can we get into how elegant this looks? It low-key reminds me of the old school perfumes. Like, you know, when the women would be like, they would use like this nozzle and spray. Like, do you guys remember that? Like, am I showing age? Okay, whatever. So you would take the leaves and kind of just mist it. Can you guys, I don't know. Let's see if you guys can see. Dope, right? So you would use this and spray the leaves of your plant, ensuring that they get all the water that they need for the day, especially that summer is now coming around, this is your best friend. I would advise doing this more in the nighttime, later in the night, so that the uh, the leaves, the sun wouldn't dry out the liquid before the leaves were able to actually absorb them. And of course, for your pruning shears, this is what they look like. Fancy, right? Fancy. These are so cool, because honestly, I just kind of use like a scissors to cut some of the leaves when I had my basil. When I had the plant, I would just kind of like either snap it off and then I felt bad and I was actually hurting my plant so I just started using scissors. But I feel now like an adult now that I have my pruning shears. So they come like this. They come locked with this little, let's see if you can see it, with this little black thing to keep it locked. Safe if you have children around. And then when you're ready to use it, you take this, lift it up, and then because of the spring, it just automatically opens and look at nice and sharp and ready to use. So let's get to cutting. I'm going to cut off some because I actually, I was ahead of the game because I wanted to keep my plant as long as I could and actually want to pot it into a bigger plot, uh, pot so it can actually grow bigger, which I did before. But this time I'm going to keep it alive, man. I'm going to keep it alive, I promise. So I did buy some actual basil from the store because we're going to be making pesto today and i'll show you what we're going to be making our pesto in in just a bit remove all of this stuff over the seeds and the candle oh and how you open this too it's very simple very easy this is the spout the, the water goes in fill up your water secure it and boom it's ready Press down on this and it's ready to fire away. <laughs> All right. So for the pruning shears, what you would typically do. Um, yeah, this is a lot of basil. I really have enough. But I want to show you at least on my little basil, my new basil friend here. How I would typically use her is, let's see, get you guys close. Just like this. Okay, perfect. So I would take a piece Try to get as close to the root as possible or the bigger stem that's growing from and easy. Let's grab another one. Let's grab another one. There's one down here. So effortlessly, they come out perfect. And this is the way you're supposed to be technically gathering your herbs using your pruning shears, not pulling them like how I was used to doing. That was my bad, y'all. So that's enough. And I have them and I'm going to wash them off. So I'm going to throw them in here. Okay, see? Okay, perfect. So I'm going to wash these off so we can add it. So now I get to talk about the skillets or I should say the pots that I, I use that I'm to make my pesto. Um, all I actually, all I did use was one pot, but let me show you guys. 